Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vitlehein and welcome to Fabius Bio and Bellostaurus Call Meet from Genefather, a 40k dramatic reading by Rufus Juice. That's a channel I never checked out before, but somebody recommended this video to me and I was like, wait, those two mad scientists actually have an interaction? I never knew about that. So I'm actually excited because I mean them. I love like uh I love the mad scientist kind of people. I love like their stories and the implications of their impact upon their world and factions and stuff like that. So yeah, so Fabius Bile, the one that made clones of Primarchs and all kinds of other crazy things. Um, Paul, the one who created the Primary Space Marines, again, among many other things. <laughs> so they are, they are like the top kind of like mad scientists of the Warhammer 40k universe. And them interacting. Oh, let's uh, let's go. Let's see. Let's see what this has to offer. Pum, pum, pum. Pum. Here it comes. Belisarius call, I presume. Oh, perfect voice. This is a very fine collection. Is this a like an interaction from? Actually, I do not know much about Bile before he became a heretic. I like actually I don't know anything about him before that. So um. Is this like an interaction they had before or after he became a heretic? Eclectic. I approve. It is very personal to me. I had gathered. Personal? What Curious. is it? I have not chosen this place to meet with you. The technology I have been loaned is precise, but not that precise. Perhaps the hand of serendipity is at work here. The hand of what? Fabius Bile, if I am not mistaken. My reputation precedes me. No, I'm pretty sure it's just your bald head. <laughs> Everybody's like, if you see an old marine with a bald head but still hair on the sides that looks like it hasn't been washed in forever since he was like made into a space marine, that's that that's that's him. That's Fabius Bile. Also, he's wearing a lot of weird things on his armor. There we go. That, that, that's it. You are the original. The genuine Peyton Mutatus. Not one of his clones. Does it matter? Wait, he has clones of himself? Something again, I did not know. They are me and I am them. Genius is all. You know what that reminds me of Dr. Doom? <laughs> and he, like with his like, clones, even though they are more like robots. But you know what I mean, like... Each one of them, like, basically is a genius on their own, so... It's kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> they say I am arrogant. <laughs> not fairly, I suppose. But I think I may have met my match in that regard. Oh, I yeah. I am arrogant. But genius is not. I am a genius like you. A wise man acknowledges what he is good at. You will find no false modesty in this room, I think. Ah. But he also acknowledges his failings. Acknowledgement of one's talents cannot be accompanied by blindness to one's shortcomings. Otherwise, fair. the wise man is not wise at all. I mean, that's a fair point. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. Yeah, if you only praise yourself and your like good things and don't see your failings, then that yeah, that is just arrogance and not actually. Like, uh, just acknowledging, like, yourself anymore. Oh, very humble. Humility is a virtue most of those born in our era neglect, Archmagos. I would venture that you have little time for it yourself. Little. <laughs> I find humility gets in the way of my self-belief. Take my friendly advice. Friendly As advice? one scientist to another. You should embrace humility. Why does Fabius Bile, one of the most like hated bastards in the 40k universe, actually speak some like some truth that actually is kind of good and makes sense and we can all like appreciate what? You should look within yourself with complete honesty. You will be better for acknowledging your fallibility. I never said I was infallible. You believe you are, though. Take your great work, your Primaris Space Marines. I admit that I was excited to see the work of this supposed genius. You, I mean. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, that is kind of funny that he specified. <laughs> you. Yeah, but yeah, because it wasn't obvious who he meant. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of my work as 
one scientist to another. I found it disappointing. Disappointing? I found little of interest, Cor. I have examined your work exhaustively. It is nothing revolutionary, merely variations on the same tired old theme. Like, what, did he expect a whole new thing? Like, a whole new space marine altogether? No, it's it just like I talked in so many other videos, like, when we mentioned and discussed space marines, like, Primaris ones, even I kept mentioning that, yeah, some people don't like them because they are seen as a replacement, but I don't see them as that. I see them as just an upgrade to something. And I like upgrades. I don't like replacements, like, very often, but I do like upgrades, and I see it as just that. So, you know what? I, he does have a point that yeah they are they are not anything new per se they're just just an upgrade muscle swollen super soldiers bigger stronger more annoyingly self-righteous calling the primary space marines an improvement might be technically true yeah but you cannot truly improve upon a flawed design Ooh. oh he's he's judging the design of the emperor now that's what he's actually doing by saying that not actually just bashing calls work He's like, the design itself from the very start was flawed. The one made by the Emperor. Did what was required. You probably did. That stiff old bastard Gilliman probably loved them. But you and I... We are genitors of rare repute. We both know you could have done better. Better? Come now. It is a poor craftsman who only delivers what is expected of him. An artist aims to exceed always. You understand? I only had 10,000 years. <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> oh, myself. <laughs> I had to design a whole new suite of weaponry, armor, vehicles, and equipment to go with them. If we're going to be fair to me, which I think we should be, the Lord Primark wanted an improvement upon the designs of his creator. That is what I gave him. I think, under the circumstances of my commission, that last request rather trumped any benefit to me showing off any supposed artistry I may or may not have, don't you? Oh. I have seen the results of your art dial. You're not a scientist. You're a torturer. You Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we took a turn there. We said scientist to scientist before. And now you're not even calling him a scientist. Now you're saying he's not even a scientist anymore. Wow, we, we are really taking a turn there. We're getting a bit more aggressive with this. You are naive. You believe I have turned to chaos. I suppose that is understandable. You have not? It is also not true. I mean, there's been interactions that I've seen about him that actually are weird and even I thought wait what what exactly is his deal like he doesn't feel like he's like following the chaos gods he feels like he's doing his own thing and I think that's actually really just what he's doing these gods I think at most he's just like using their powers like their, their like resources and stuff not actually care about them Odds, my old brothers talk of endlessly they are a sickness a discordant note that destroys the harmony of the music of the spheres he actually they hates them no Gods, Archmagos. Wow, you and the Emperor could go hand in hand right now. <laughs> if only you weren't so repulsive. There is only time and being and thinking things that brew themselves up out of the two. That's a way of looking at it. I am sure it would surprise you to learn that all I wish to do is what you wish to do. Explain, I want to know. Come yeah, now. I want to know. I want to save humanity. You what? My sentiment for the man in the man's skin leathers. <laughs> yeah, fair sentiment from the man that's literally wearing other people on his armor. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, fair. What about those ones that are on your armor? How did you save? Did you save them? I don't think you saved them very much. Most of the time, when people want to save people, it's not to add them to their wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> Very fair point, very fair, very fair point. If I'm not mistaken, you have been associating with the traitors that threaten to plunge our entire reality into an endless hell for the past ten millennia. 
You have bolstered their armies. You have aided their schemes. When you have not contented yourself with only abetting them, you have led them yourself in a war against humanity. Your name is a byword for terror across hundreds of worlds. Wherever you go, your sergeant's knife is red with the blood of blameless folk. I have files of the things you have made from the living tissues of imperial citizens, slaughtered citizens. Populations tortured into a new grotesque form. I have this sickening feeling that you are pleading innocence with me. I like that he he actually said sickening. Because yeah, after all the things he knows, like he just said he knows, he has the files, he has seen he has seen what Pyrel has done and what the kind of things he's created. So yeah, see, can I, calling it sickening right now, the feeling that he might be uh, pleading innocence right now, <laughs> yeah, very very sickening indeed. I am astounded. Yes, yes, astounded. You are a monster. I've been called a monster before, and by people that would surprise you. Look at yourself. Do you think you would not give any child nightmares? <laughs> Hey, that's just appearance, though. That's we're talking about appearance. You're, we, but he's not he, like, okay, Bile, you are talking about appearance right now. But but Carl, on the other hand, talked about the, the monstrous things you have done. That's a whole different subject. <laughs> it's not the same. I mean, Carl has done some horrible things too. But compared to you, ooh. I may not be pretty, but I am nothing like you. Yeah. No, you are not. Don't come. Don't. I swear, if he says something like you are not willing to go all the way to, the, to even further beyond to achieve the things that I have achieved, do not do not say that. You are not as good as I am. Wow, never mind, he's just being even just more cocky. I vivisected one of your creations, more than one, actually. But this one sticks in the mind. He was ancient, almost as old as you or I. What? He was taken from a world far from terror. Kidnapped. That is the word for what happened to him. Ripped from his family without his permission. Experimented on for millennia. Thousands of years of pain to be turned into a living weapon. Wait, what is he talking about? <laughs> you call me a monster. We are both monsters. The pair of us. Wait, who is he talking about? Wait, who? Who is he actually? No, actually, who is it? Who what? Huh? What? What? With who? I am a monster. Then I am a monster on the right side of history. Uh -huh. I mean, that's the thing, though. That's the thing. Yeah, the, the, which side of history you are on depends a lot as how you're like how your doings are viewed by everybody. Hey, the same. <laughs> what do you mean the same? <laughs> there is no right side. There is no good and bad. Only two forces, equally bad as the other, locked in a death spiral. The Imperium is as rotten and degenerate as the followers of Abaddon are. I mean, he has a point, in a way. But at the same time, he doesn't. You know what the, dif like, the biggest difference is? When it comes to Abaddon, every single one of the Black Legion are scum. Every single one of them. All of them. Every single one. When it comes to the Imperium, the Imperium at its core is rotten, the, the leadership, except Gilliman, every, like, like all the crease and everything that follow, like follows along with Imperium, they are rotten, yes, that is true. Even Gilliman was afraid when he saw like what the Imperium has fallen into. But when it comes to like the citizens, there are so many worlds, so many planets, so many, just so many billions of them that don't even have any idea what's actually happening. So many of them are really just innocent people that are suffering. So it's not the Imperium as a whole that's rotten, it's the Imperium's leadership and core that become rotten, became rotten. Not all of the citizens. So I don't think it's the same when you, like, when you put something that's all rotten against something that's like, like somewhat, like a part rotten. It's not the same thing. Why do you help them rather than us? You could have used your talents for good. What do you think I'm trying to do? <laughs> What do you think would happen if I had come back to terror after Fulgrim fell? 
would they have been there to welcome me with open arms, to hail my genius, my contribution to humanity? They would have shot me. If I had come back later, after Horus's failure, then they would have burned me alive instead. Oh, wait, he, he again, he's making kind of a good point as well this time. That is true, like, he did not really have much of a choice. He was kind of gonna just get killed because he's part of the traitors. There's progress for you. If I have my history correct, and please note this is a rhetorical question, then I would say, Volterdash, you spent hundreds of years leading the fallen children of the Emperor willingly. And you serve a morbid empire ruled by a corpse that feasts upon the souls of its subjects. He does do that. There is no justice. There is no kindness. We are at the mercy of false gods on all sides. Oh. Yeah, you know, I... It's kind of true. <laughs> it is kind of true. I still don't abide by by Pyle. He's, but at the same time, he's... At least I can agree with some of the things he's saying. I can see where this is going now. This is the part where you tell me you wish to free us from all gods. By what? Replacing them with yourself? I have been worshipped as a god. I found I have no taste for it. I oh, the, the, the subtitle was wrong. I found I have no taste for it, but it said, I see no justice. See, there is no justice. The, the subtitle was wrong, but uh, it's fine. It, 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 it's, it's just a little mistake. But you know, I kind of like that, that he he was seen as a god, but he did not care for that. I kind of like that. But then again, even the emperor did not want to be seen as a god, despite the fact that people now see him as a god. It's, oh, not by his choice, what did I do? I went, I pressed you by mistake, whoops. Uh, um, we were, okay, there we go. For it. I have heard this song before. I've had enough in my life with those who speak in nothing but dramatic metaphor. Songs, <laughs> legends, no more. Will call. It is will that will save us, not stories. Why? Why is it that for some reason I kind of agree with Bile with so many things in this one? I also agree with a lot of what Call said, but I also agree with him, which I did not expect. My will, your will. Everybody, you want yes. To stop all this to drive chaos out, as do I. Now the evil genius declaims his plan. You were a cliche in a horrifying coat. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I do not know like who I agree with more in this one. I like Cole more as a whole, but I like what Bile said as well a lot but at the same time there are things that i've seen that kind of indicate what he's saying as true you know what for example like when he made fulgrim the clone and he did not want to make a corrupted one he wanted to make an actual pure one and he he was actually not happy with the fact that he thought he's gonna fall to chaos anyway following the same footsteps as the last one the original one like there are some things he's done that kind of indicate he does want weird, unexpected, uncomprehensible things compared to just what you would expect from a traitor. So that's, that's interesting to me. But anyway, that's it for now. I really enjoyed this. So uh, this was a great video that was actually recommended to me by somebody I forgot to mention, I think. I forgot. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching it, punch the like button with everything you have. And have a great day or night. But for now, farewell and bye-bye.